Okay, so my friends made this O-level style paper on transit literacy. So I'm just going to be attempting it. I don't know the answers, but you know, I'll just give it a go. Which service passes through but does not stop at Dobigot Station? If you're talking about the bus stop, it is 65. Okay, what is that name? It's so obvious. It takes bus 167 from Sembawang. How long would it take for him to reach Newton MRT? Now, I don't know the runtime of 167 like at all, but I'm just going to guess on a good day, it'll be 35. Oh, I'm supposed to guess a service based on shape. Uh, okay, this one's quite obvious. It's Yishun, Kate, Yochukang Road, Haokang Avenue 2, 3, Yunos Link, and this is like Sims Avenue East and Changi Road. So I'm gonna guess 8 by 4. I mean, cause it just doesn't look like the rest. If it was 13, um, this portion would be a lot longer. And there is no way that it's 118 because Changi Business Park. Now, option D refers to like town link services. So it's not that 410 is just a G and W service. So yeah, G and W service. Bugis to Marine Terrace. I mean, it's forty eight. What else can you take? There's no forty eight. Okay. Why is there no 48? Well, I guess I have to pick like the best option, I guess. I mean, like, B is possible if you walk, but if you're talking about like, let, let's assume same stop bus transfer, then I would have no choice but to pick D. What does T in 293T stand for? It's just terminating trip, so it's terminating trip. What are the operating hours for a normal bus lane on a Wednesday? <laughs> I'll be honest, I don't know this at all. Oh gosh. Okay, it's probably wrong, but I'm gonna guess C. I'll just put minus one mark because I'm not confident in this one. Which interchange station requires an out of station transfer? Uh, Tampanese. I hate this. Yeah. Which two stations are not physically connected? I mean C is, B is, it's gonna be this one. 
which of the following statements are true for all bus operators? Scheduling the bus service timetables, yes. Planning, nope. In the past, it was, but now, no. Bus operators are tasked with managing their systems, no. In the past, yes, now, no. Now, bus operators holding ownership of their buses, that's not true. Only SMRT, you know, they, the Bendy buses right now are their assets and not LTA's assets. So it's just two. What system does the LRT use? I mean, you see this regurgitated over and over again. Which of the following routes call at certain stops twice? This one. Diagram below shows three lines depicting three bus routes within a town. <laughs> oh, okay. Which could the dotted line most likely represent? Okay, I thought this was going to be a guess the service number, but... um. Now, in theory, this could be a long feeder, but I'm just going to have to guess this one. Because B is not an official term and is just a term coined by my friends, so A it is. Okay, it shows bus arrival timings. It is known the first incoming bus times are accurate. Assuming all buses should come at equal intervals, which in real life, that's not possible. Which option is likely still on schedule? Now in real life, obviously, every single one of these options is possible. Um, but Gosh, what's this? Okay, on schedule. I mean, even if you don't know anything about like buses at all, just do the math, like just do the in-between. There's like 15 and, and it's nine. This one over here is, I guess, two, and six. This is 15, and this is nine. Okay, just by like how huge the gap is. Okay, let me just check this one. This one is three, and then this one is 11. I mean, when you're talking about on schedule, you want it to have like the closest like intervals, so it should be A. Oh, it's a speed restriction, but it's temporary. Oh, I have to study this diagram, okay. Identify the rapid bus route. Yeah, my friends, they love to do this. You just look for, for like the biggest gap. Okay, A is definitely the one because you can see it skipping every single stop. Okay, I'm just going to put A. Now identify the express bus route. B it is then.
Now, the reason why I put rapid as A is because I think according to their definition of a rapid bus, it skips stop. So, I'm just going to have to go with it. And I assume, like, this one is referring to, like, an expressway. So, yeah. Identify the two routes, which could probably be variants of the same service. Not B, of course. And it's not D. Why am I taking so long on this? Now here's the thing, if you look at A and you look at B, they go to like the same destination. And when you look at C and D, uh, it's like a 123M kind of thing, but 123M doesn't work like this. Okay, I'm just going to look at the options since I'm kind of stunned right now. Stumped right now. B and C are definitely not variants. Um, C and D is what I talked about just now. There is no way A and C could be variants. Okay, and for questions 17 and 18, there is no way either of them can be rapid or express. Because if you look at the stops, they're all local. But I'm just thinking of a scenario whereby, like, how can a rapid and an express, um, you know, be the same route variant? Like, at the top of my head, I... I really cannot think of anything from the top of my head like that is like both rapid and express and it's like variants. I mean I can think of one which is like nice street. Actually no no no. Okay. There is one. 188E and 188R. You know, that could be possible, and C and D just looks like they have four stops in common, and then they just, like, deviate away from each other. Okay, I'm gonna pick this solely because of this. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Okay, I'll just put minus one. Which network limits... 
inner town connectivity. Now, intra town, I'm sure you've heard of that before. It just means town link, like town link just means intra town, which means within the same town. But inter town connectivity means like um, going from one town to the other. So it's not this. And uh, point to point in like Japanese terminology, it's like choko. So it's not this because this actually helps inner town connectivity and connective grid. This doesn't really affect. So it's this, which integrated transport hub offers the least access penalty between bus and MRT. Okay, basically this just in other words mean like how far you have to walk between the interchange or the bus terminal and MRT station. Singkang is like connected, Bunle is connected, Bedok you just have to take the underpass. Yishun is very far. I'm going to pick Yishun. Because Badok, like, it's still... You know, it's... Okay, I get it. It's kind of... Okay, how do I... Okay. For this one, Badok Mall is here. This is New Upper Changi Road. And, uh... The station is like in the middle and there's an underpass that like cuts through but for Yishun it's like the interchange is here and the MRT station is like completely opposite of the road so based on that I'm just gonna have to go with D as of January, which combination is correct? Okay, this one I'm just going to have to take and take. Yes, this was under SBS Transit. Uh, same for this. Yes, yes. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. I mean, this hasn't been introduced yet. So, I mean, I already know that this service is going to be introduced, but it hasn't been, like, introduced yet. So, yeah. This hasn't been introduced yet. So, yeah, I guess. Hold on a second, like, these are all existing. These are all existing. I feel like this is like testing us on like when the services are actually like introduced. This is existing. And this one, as of this date, has already been under SMRT. Yes, C is correct. I, okay, I forgot when this thing was being introduced, but yeah. How many stations currently lie between Holland Village and Marymount? Okay, Holland, Vi uh, Holland Village, Barrow Road, Botanic Gardens. Uh, I don't know if you count Bukit Brown. Uh, Caldecott. Let me just double check. Fair Road. Botanic Gardens. Bukit Brown. Caldecott. And then Marymount. Oh, currently. Okay, okay. So, three. Ah. 
Okay, which is the recommended route from... Oh, come on. <laughs> Who is the current Minister of Transport of Singapore? Uh, okay, in all our hearts, he is the one, but you suck. Which MRT station is, oh, it's the dam, like the water dam. Uh, this one. As a... Okay, it qualifies as a trunk. It qualifies as an express bus. This one. Now, this one is my friend's own terminology, so I'm just going to put, like, a question mark over here. Now, Express Feeder refers to like 298X and 801X. Like, it has to be a feeder. I mean, there is one exception. There's this. And honestly, I don't know if this one would be introduced, but whatever. Which of the following is not an airport? I mean, this is pretty obvious. How many complete but unopened stations? Okay, the keyword is complete. So, Tagore, the provisions are there, but it's not even complete in the first place. There is like Mount Pleasant uh, and Marina South. So it's two. And then there is one more, which is like Founders Memorial. I don't think it's complete yet, so it should be two. Wait, what? Okay, now this one is... Depending on your definition... Uh, depending on your own interpretation of redundancy, meaning alternative route, when the train derails, okay. Now, definitely not this one. This one is parallel, and it's not really redundancy. Like, V and East-West Line don't even touch each other. This is a feeder bus service, so no. So I'm leaning towards these, uh, these three options. Okay, so apparently... Um, you can only pick three, so I'm gonna pick, like, you can only pick three. Oh, and I'm done. Yay. So I'm not gonna be going through the answers. I'll just leave a download link in the YouTube description for that.